welcome to Harvard Fest in Beverly. It's an amazing, beautiful day, and there's lots of amazing people, and we look forward to sharing some amazing events with you. Lots of festivities going on. Here we go. We're here with some local veterans. <laughs> Hello. And your name is? Chuck Clark. I'm the commander of Beverly Vietnam Veterans. And what are you doing here today? We're trying to raise money for a monument to be put back in uh, Vietnam Veterans Memorial Plaza. Thank you very much for all that you all have done. And your name is? I'm Jerry Gillespie. And where are you from? Oh, I'm right here from Beverly, a longtime resident of Beverly. Most of you probably know me. <laughs> <laughs> you're awesome. And your name is? Corey Paulette. And you're from Beverly as well? Thank you for your service. And we go over to this gentleman here. He looks like a troublemaker. I am. My name's Ken Casola. I grew up in Beverly, but I live in Peabody now, but I'm in the Beverly Veterans. Thank you all very much for your service. Good luck and enjoy the day. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm here with Lynette. Hi, Lynette. What brings you down here today? Well, I came down because my friend Lori's here with DCF and as a table, plus I'm also a Beverly resident, so I went to come down and check out what was going on. Are you having a good time? I am. Any good food? Uh, we just got a lobster roll and chowder from Joe's on a Roll. Yum. Very, very, very good. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks, you too. Thank you. Hello, I'm here at the U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary Stand. I have the pleasure of speaking with Glenn Gayton from Division 3. Thank you for your service. And? John Strauss. Also, thank you for your service. So what brings you down here today? Well, we've got our friend Coasty. We like to bring Coasty into schools and teach about the environment, nationally teach about boating safety. Uh, the big push now is for paddle craft. There were several deaths last year, and out of those deaths, only four bodies were recovered wearing a life jacket out of 29. So the big push for the Coast Guard, the Coast Guard Auxiliary, is to educate boaters, kayakers, paddle boarders about the, uh, the dangers of not wearing a life jacket. But we also like to, as you can see by the display, speak about the environment, educate the kids on how long it takes for trash to break down. And, uh, That's very exciting. <laughs> it is. It is. We enjoy what we do. Thank you very much. And sir, I have a question for you. Um, with all the weather that's going around, um, going on across the country, were you involved with the um, rescue and um, recovery? We haven't, we haven't been yet. Um, there's a deployment action going on right now. So our auxiliaries have signed up for it. We're just waiting to hear what's, what the result is. Well, thank you very much. And can you show us your little boat? I'd love to, however. I've got a, got a battery that needs to be changed at the moment, uh -oh. so he's not really dancing. But if you come back later, we'll have him up and running. All right, promise we will do so. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Have a good day. Right. Enjoy. Thank you. Hello. Um, and your name is? I am Ashley. Hi, Ashley. May I ask what brings you down to Harbor Fest and what you do? Sure thing. Um, we own Coast to Coast Paddle here in Beverly. Uh, we do paddle boarding, kayak, rentals, lessons, tours. We're doing free demos today. We got people out on the water, so it's awesome. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. No, I will not be trying it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that would be wonderful. We'd love to have you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think so. <laughs> maybe another time when the water warms up a little bit. <laughs> another time, maybe, yeah. So are there a lot of people here? Are you enjoying yourself today? Yes, we're having a great time. This is our third or fourth year here, and we have a great time every time. Fabulous. Do you get any new uh, comers? Oh, yeah. We have a lot of people that have never done it before that are out there right now. Are they joining? They are. They're having a great time. Only a couple have taken a swim, so that's good. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Captain John. Hi, 
Hi, Captain John. Um, what brings you here today? What are you doing today? We're the Sea Shuttle. We're here to display. Uh, this is actually, I think, our fifth year at the Harbor Fest. Always come here. It's a great event. Uh, just to tell people about the Sea Shuttle, we're a 45-foot catamaran here out of Salem, where the Salem Ferry goes. Uh, we do all sorts of field trips for kids, educate children, teach children that lobsters are from the ocean and not from the market basket fish counter. Uh, That's funny. Thank you. Uh, also, we do tours from Misery uh, to Misery Island. It's a little island off the coast of Beverly Farms. Uh, that's about, a, it's a regular water tour that takes an hour and 45 minutes around the harbor, a little bit of history behind it. And if you want us, we will dump you off on the island for a couple hours. That's entirely up to you. Well, thank you. Kim, you want to go? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> he, he, I think he's been on the boat before, a number of times. So I hope you do come on the boat. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks. Hope to see everybody out there. Hi. Hi. Oh, wow. Good things. We this is our, Cam, this is our catch and release aquarium, 250 gallon floating aquarium. It's all catch and release and we have permit to collect, we have a state permit to collect animals from Salem Sound and this simulates an eelgrass bed. There are meadows out there of protected flowering plants called eelgrass. Now we just did a, feel, a feeding so the tank's a little bit, uh, it's got extra food in it now. So I'm cleaning that out. And we take thousands of kids out every year. We're birthed at Salem, Salem Wharf, Salem um, at the, uh, the new big wharf there. And we uh, take school to sea out, which is part of Salem. It's a kind of a partnership with Salem Coast Watch. So we are trying to introduce the excitement of marine life. I just noticed a school of fish coming over here. Sorry to distract you. Um, we, uh, our goal is to really help kids appreciate, or kids of every age, to appreciate the life in Salem Sound out here uh, because, you know, it's a reflecting surface. So unless you're scuba diving or snorkeling, you don't have any idea what a wilderness it is out there. And we see seals and harbor porpoise. And once uh, I even saw an Atlantic manta ray. Yeah. And, uh, of course, lots of schooling fish. But also we uh, bring up the crustaceans. Uh, and there's a lobster over here that Jillian, Jillian, can you tell these nice folks about um, Nada and the uh, regeneration of Nada's claws? Yeah, this is Nada, and we actually um, found him in a in our lobster trap. And when we found him, he didn't have any claws. And we've had him all season, and he's grown back both of his claws, his pincher and his crusher. And he was also missing one antenna, too. So if you can see, like, this one's a little bit smaller than um, this one. So, yeah, we're going to release him in the next, like, few weeks. So, yes. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. May I touch him? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh. And do you know how it, um, you can tell how to identify what gender it is? No. So right here, if these are hard, then that means it's a male. If it's soft, then that's a female. Yeah, oh, interesting. Cool. Yeah, yeah, they're really cool animals. So. Thank you very much. No problem. And it's nice to meet you, Nala. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you tell us what that is you're holding? Yeah, this is one of the residents of Salem Sound. It's a spider crab. And I'm handling this one carefully because it's big enough. Uh, we don't let the kids handle this one because it really can pinch you but they don't come after you. Uh, they don't bother people. Uh, it would only pinch me if I picked it up, like now. It really does look like a spider. Yeah, well, this is a type of um, decorator crab. I'm going to reach down and get another one that's got a little better growth on it. You can hold on one second. Well, anyway, I'll use this one. Uh, it, gr it lets seaweed grow on its uh, shell and even sometimes it'll reach up and grab a little piece of, uh, kind of grows its own salad on top of it and will eat some of the seaweed off the top as well as other things that we feed it. It loves mussels and clams. But there Me many, too. There are many kinds of decorator crabs in the world. Most of them are in the tropics, but even here in New England we have, we have uh, decorator crabs. Again, they're called, it's a type of spider crab, but decorator crabs allow Either they'll, they'll allow things to grow on them, like sponges and anemones and seaweeds, for camouflage. 
I was going to say, is that a protection mechanism? Yeah, and it's very effective because there are thousands of species of decorator crabs. There's one in the tropics that we've seen that grows anemones on its claws, and they sting. The anemones sting, so it uses it like boxing gloves for its defense. Wow. Uh, May I touch it? Yes. I don't want to hold it. I'm just going to touch it. You can hold it. No, it, no I don't want it to bite me. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> He's moving right. his mouth. Now, don't do this at home, but actually, uh, this is a guest. He's a guest uh, from Hollywood because this crab was in that movie Alien. <laughs> Only kidding. Don't do that at home. Thank don't you. Do anywhere. Don't do it here. In You're fact, quite the character. In fact, I think he got me. Uh, uh oh. But these will all be, um, uh, we treat them like not pets, but definitely friends. They're fed and cleaned every day. And at the, um, uh, it's a catch and release aquarium. So either within a few days or a few weeks or a few months, in the case of Nada, who grew back his claws, Nada, get it, nothing in the way of claws. I get it. Uh, he, we caught him in our educational lobster trap without any claws. He'd been in some kind of fight down in the bottom of Salem Sound. So when he came up in our trap, we, we kind of used our aquarium here as a hospital, and I'm going to put this guy back while I'm talking to you. Uh, we th we also call this the lobspital. It's uh, oh. oh, that's cute. Because this is where lobsters can grow their claws back. So in June, there were just these little tiny nubs on Nada, the lobster. And hey, Jill, I'll, I'll get him over here, Jillian. But when Nada came up in June, all there were were little nubs. See, he's growing back a claw right there. Or a, oh, that's, that's a walking leg he's growing back. I'm going to put it in the sun for you. That's about how big it was. And throughout the summer, it grew. And then it was a nub about the size of my pinky, turned black with orange spots. And the orange spots inside it are the, these little orange barbs here. But then it molted. And when it molted, we came in. First of all, it looks like there's two lobsters in the tank, and there's only one left the shell there and he had two fully formed claws uh, that he had totally regenerated in a couple months. So this is our lobspital and we'll be releasing him ceremoniously at the end of the season. Right back. Wow, that's amazing. Up. And uh, when he's when they first grow a, I wish we could do that, you know, grow a limb back. Um, this is actually, I didn't notice though, they's growing that walking leg back. That's spectacular. Uh, <laughs> yes, sometimes I'm a little careless, and he got me with his ripper claw. These will Ouch. grow larger uh, as they molt, but imagine that just from a little tiny thing like that, a little, a little smaller than a pinky to uh, a fully formed claw in one summer. That's amazing. Thank you for everything you do, and thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing all this with uh, Beverly at Harborfest. Absolutely. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Now he's going back home. Woohoo! Hello. We're here with uh, the U.S. Coast Guard. And who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Petty Officer Covington. Well, thank you very much for your service. And what brings you here today? Uh, today we're just trying to allow the public a chance to see what we do, what we have is, uh, with our motor lifeboat, and just uh, try to promote some education for you guys. And what is this boat behind us? Uh, this boat is a 47 motor lifeboat, primarily for search and rescue. It also does some law enforcement. Uh, it's capable of 30 foot seas max, 20 foot surf, so it's quite a durable boat. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself today? I am. It's uh, great to see the people and just kind of show people what we do, uh, the other side of the Coast Guard, other than... Uh, the aviation side, so a lot of people aren't too knowledgeable of it, so it's good to kind of inform people. Thank you very, very much. No problem. No problem. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Pleasure of speaking with Juanita Gordon. 
And what brings you down here to Harvard Fest today? We walked down. You walked down, no particular reason? No, we just heard the music and we knew that it was going to be a big deal. I heard about it all through the city on Facebook and on Walt and Bev Camp told us all about it. So we said, yeah, we'll come down. So what do you think? I love it. I love the music and everybody's in such a good mood and the kids are having so much fun. Aren't they? It's amazing and it's such a beautiful day. There's a lot of family activities yeah. and a lot of people getting together and just having a good time. Have you had the opportunity of picking something up to eat here yet? No, but I'm getting kind of hungry. My husband said he wants to wait a little while, but I guess I'll be patient and wait. What do you think you're going to have? I think he's going to get a lobster roll. Mm -hmm. I might get an A, a and B burger. I love those. <laughs> I love A and B burgers, too. Well, you enjoy the rest of your day, and thank you very much. Thank you so much, and support Gordons of Beverly on Park Street. Absolutely. Thank you, honey. Bye. Hello, I'm here with four very good-looking young people, and your name is? I'm Hannah. I'm Jared. I'm Olivia. I'm Colin. And what brings you all down here today? Uh, we're visiting my brother who goes to school here. That's him right there. <laughs> yeah. You go to school here, and what are you taking? Uh, I'm taking uh, animation. Animation? That's yeah. awesome. Very, very good. What, what year are you in? Uh, this is my last year. Yeah. Oh, you're almost a graduate. Congratulations. Are you enjoying yourself down here today? Yeah, it's a, it's a good time, you know. What about you, Miss Smiley? We came here for the art festival. Uh, yeah. The art festival, of course. <laughs> and what about you? I came for the same thing. I'm having fun. Got a cookie. It was good. You got, you got a cookie. I did. <laughs> Are you going to eat lunch? Are you picking up a, any particular thing, a burger or anything? Oh, yeah, we got cupcakes. Yeah, we got yeah. Yeah. cupcakes. I'm cupcakes, I'm cupcakes, cupcakes. That's not lunch. Did you have cupcake too? I had a cookie. You had a cookie. <laughs> I want crepes. I want to try the crepes. You want to try what? The crepes. The crepes? Well, let me know how they are. I will. I'll let you know. We will. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. of Beverly's Finest, and your name is? Arthur Fitzpatrick. Hi, Arthur. What brings you down here today? We're here to celebrate the Harper Fest uh, with all these lovely people, and uh, we brought our dive truck down today to show, to show it off and the stuff that's inside of it. And the kids must be awesome in there, huh? The kids love it. Love it. They just want to go inside and check everything out. That's awesome. Thank you so much for all you do. You're, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. And to who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Well, this is Luke. My name is Luke Van Andelict. How are you doing, Luke? Very well. This is a beautiful day. So first time uh, coming to, uh, you know, Harbor Fest. So I think it's a pretty nice event. What brings you down here today? Uh, well, we have some friends that uh, have small kids and we thought it would be a good idea to come down. And plus, I was kind of curious about it. Are you enjoying yourself? Oh, yes. I mean, it's always what could be nicer, you know, the view, the people, meeting a lot of friends. Of course, Beverly's small enough. You always meet people you know, so. It's Absolutely. A lot of fun. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today as much as we did at the 2017 Harbor Fest. There were so many people, such an amazing, beautiful day. We look forward to you joining us again next year. Till then, bye for now.